And the model number on this Amano washer is when you open the door, it's right here. Santum it's there. And Santum it's right here in this area or at the bottom, but most of the time you will see it here or here. It has to be in this area somewhere or in this area. Hello friends, today I'm working on a Amana front load washing machine. The customer's complaint is that uh, when they are running the washing machine, sometimes it starts beeping, that it's beeping right now. I'll turn it off. So to fill with water, uh, when I got here, I started it. Um, I, had, I had it selected on um, heavy duty and uh, cold uh, water was selected on it. Uh, it tried to run for a couple of minutes, nothing happened. It filled a little, a little bit water and then it was just making a humming noise. On these units, with the same exact problem, you're also getting um, LF air code, means uh, low flow. The low flow is for the water, and I'll show what needs to be done here. Um, to get to the uh, this uh, washing machine at the back, there's two quarter inch screws. Um, I pull these two quarter inch screws all the way out. Uh, you can use your screwdriver or drill, open it from the back and then the top comes off. I'll start the cycle, power on. Um, with the normal cycle, uh, we are getting warm water. With the delicate, we are getting cold. So only the heavy duty is the one that gets hot water. So we're gonna run it on this first. We are getting hot water. I will run a normal cycle that fills with warm water. So it's a combination of cold and hot water here. So at this moment you can hear the water valve is making humming noise and it's located up top here. This is our hot water valve. This one is the cold one. If, I, if you put your hand, you can uh, hear it. It's trying to fill. It's also making humming, no humming noise. And what I'm gonna do here, I'll bring the, I'll take the dispenser out and see how is the water flow here. You can see the water flow. It's very slow and I'll stop it now. So I have stopped it and I'm gonna run it on uh, heavy. On heavy cycle, we get cool, uh, hot water. So this time you're gonna see how is the hot water flow. Press it on. And I will stop it right away before I'm getting lots of water in the floor. It's flowing a lot of water and the cool water uh, should be similar a little, or a little bit more. I'll try it again on delicate. It's uh, cold.
that's a loud humming noise right there. Okay, I'm getting power. I'm getting power. And I will turn it off now. Okay, so it's off. We are not getting any power here. If you're a handy person, or, or, or if you're a homeowner and you don't know how to test this the only thing you can do is put your hand here and hold it so you can listen to the humming noise uh, if you're selecting cold or if you're selecting hot and you also want to put your hand right here and kind of hold it you, it, it, it will give you a little bit of humming noise um, so that's the way you check it if you're a technician you're always checking for 120 volts by disconnecting these cables this electrical wire there's two pins on the left and right you're checking with your probe for 120 volts if you're getting power and it's still not filling with water and making humming noise you know that the problem is the valve even if you're getting power here 120 volts but it does not uh, hum it still means that you have a bad valve it doesn't make humming noise all the time but once in a while, if you're lucky, you don't have to do any kind of testing, it will start making humming noise. So, and here I can see we got problem with the water valve, and here's the part number for it. WPW1021596, and I'll show you how it looks from inside. Here's the double valve. Here it looks like this. 120 volts uh, EC. So we got this here. Um, when I was here uh, on the first visit, I also saw that. Look at this uh, the way the water line is coming here. It's not very nice. It's not very uh, good. It's not uh, safe for the washer to be used like that. And obviously, I can see the uh, water lines are getting um, full of rust and corrosion. Um, I'm going to replace these two uh, again at the same time do not try to replace these um, always if you have water problem what you can you do you can always take uh, if you're living in a uh, in an area for example outside of the city and the water is hard you never replace this yeah worst case you replace these uh, otherwise most of the time you turn off your water that's my hot this one is the cold turn it off and uh, you need a plier like this disconnect the water line from the back it will leak a little bit water uh, again make sure it's off to be safe so open uh, your water line here and keep it somewhere you will always have a little bit of water leak if you really don't want water leakage then you're gonna have to find a bucket for this otherwise uh, of course it's gonna leak water the same thing here this one Look was at this so one. um you call it so loose i had to open it with my hand uh, this was not installed properly so i'm gonna have to replace both of these I will do the cold water line first. Make sure that uh, you see this rubber grommet is inside there. If you're missing uh, this rubber grommet from inside do not install it otherwise it's gonna leak water tight it really good with your hand and then you can also use your channel lock just a little bit retightening it
Double check your rubber grommet each time you install these hoses. And now we are gonna work on this uh, water valve. In order to um, in order to uh, pull these out, uh, there is a small tab. You, you wanna press it with a flat screwdriver or, to, or with your nail and pull it out. There's also one at the bottom. I'm not worried about that. But before I do that, there's a. Uh, number 220 torx uh, that i need to use from the back and it's uh, holding this water valve in place and i'll show you here how it looks your water valve is getting installed in this position right here there's a screw going there's a there's a torx screw goes here from the back This uh, Torx screw is out, and now I'm going to pull the washer out, and I'll show you from the back. Before you turn it, there's also a small uh, plastic tab that's holding this uh, water valve in place. You may want to push on it with a flat skew driver and then that way you can turn it. You turn it, it comes off. Here's the bottom uh, line press on it you see this a small tab this one you may want to press on this tab and then press it and pull the water line out I mean the power do not mix these up the top and the bottom you don't want to mix it You can also use a needle nose plier uh, to take these out, it's not that hard. So here look at this one, what I did here. That's, that's a mistake that can happen. Um, in order to fix this, it's broken now. Half of this part is here, the another half is here. You can still try to pull it out, but there's no benefit of pulling this out. Or I'll have an extra I'm gonna have to work on. This is the top and that's for the bottom. You see this um, slot here? We got one at the bottom, one here. I'll show you on this one because I don't have any pipes. Um, it sits like this. You want to keep eye on this uh, top slot and set it in this position, a straight position. Insert it all the way and then turn it. Here, like that. Once you insert it from top and bottom, hold it pushed in and then turn it slowly. Now I can 
add this to screw back in. Plug in my top wire. Also make sure these pipes are not pinched. If they are pinched, you will still have problem with the water. Um, so I'm gonna have to add another one here. I got this bag full of uh, connectors, different, different connectors I keep. I'm gonna find one and show you. So here you go, I found one. It's not exact same, but I'll make it work. I have different ones, but I don't want to waste my time. I always keep a couple of these extra in my van in case if something like this happens. So I will be ready for it. You can see the that little, little smaller spacer is out and here you go my connector is ready also double check to make sure your wires are good pull on it a little bit you can see it's very tight and nice the hot water line goes here at the back go opposite way keep turning it and then go straight hold it tight for one spot stuff I got in here these are all the uh, to some people it all looks garbage but I got almost everything there for microwave for washer dryer everything I will always keep the top open because I want to make sure it doesn't leak from there. Once I'm satisfied that it's not leaking from the top somewhere, then I can put my back panel back in. So because our main problem was the cold water, so I'm going to try the delicate with cold water first and see uh, is it still making humming noise or it's fixed. Is it still making humming noise because I made a mistake by not turning it on. I installed the water line but I forgot to turn it on. The, the hot water is on, the cold water is on. And here I'll try it again.
So that's a good uh, flow. It's not making humming noise and I can see the cold water is coming really good. Uh, let's try the hot water now quickly, just for fun. And while you're testing it, keep eye on there to make sure it's not leaking from somewhere. Okay, I'll turn it off again. Uh, the washers fix everything seems okay before i leave the customer house i'm gonna adjust this washer because i don't know if the washer was like this before i got here or it, if it's after my work but i'm responsible to make this uh, washer aligned or level to the floor before i leave and then we are good to go from here uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos share it with others you can also follow me on facebook i need appliances repair thank you